neighbor made us over the summer. Um, it's a little uneven, so I'm gonna try to go down there and straighten that all up and clean it up so it looks a lot better and also holds a lot better water. You know what I hate doing? Is opening the fence. When these guys are this close, they are so fast and sometimes it gets a little hairy. Let's see if we can get this gate open without them getting out. Always like having a second person when I'm driving a vehicle through and opening gates like this so you can have somebody guarding the entrance. But we don't have that this morning, so it should be all right. I don't think it's going to necessarily hold more water but got this uh dam compacted down pretty good so it shouldn't wash out as much and then the uh, washout area we put that rock in there and compacted that down with the skid steer so that should kind of help um, the seepage and kind of that runoff trying to cut away all that dirt away so i like this a lot better um Really uh, appreciate my neighbor doing that this last summer. This has been a lifesaver for the uh, bison. I haven't had to mess with water at all. This has just been perfect. Just trickles in from that side a little bit. Um, it's just a steady stream. And then uh, this just stays, it has stayed wet all, all uh, year long. So that has been really nice. So got this dam leveled out. You can see a uh, coyote over here has been checking things out. His uh, crow's nest, I guess you could call it, on the top of his head is uh, really red this year. It's really, really pretty. And his horns are, are coming in really long. He's just a really pretty, magnificent animal. This is what I'm talking about, how curious they are. Anything that's new in the field, they have to come check it out. They'll start kind of pushing on it eventually, um, if it's light enough. A friend of mine told me that, you know, if there's a tractor out in the field and it's light enough, they'll actually flip it. I don't think they're gonna be flipping the skid steer though. Fresh dirt over here for them. They really like 
fresh dirt. I don't know if it's the minerals that they smell or what it is, but I've always found that anytime you're breaking ground with these animals, they will always be over there and always messing in it. You can see uh, Black Feather over there. She's she's licking it and tasting it. The rest of the herd is coming over to try to see what is going on. These animals are so fun. They uh, are so inquisitive and they're just, they just got a really cool personality. I love their personality. White Feather over there is grunting, telling the herd to wait up. Her and Little River have been a lot more vocal lately. Not sure if it's the time of the year or if they uh, are just getting a little bit more comfortable with the property and are just being more vocal. See them testing each other. Coyote one. They'll do that. They'll test each other and they'll just tell each other who is boss and Coyote always wants to be on top. He is the uh, top dog, the alpha. But Strong Wind I named her that because she does have a little bit of a strong personality to her and she's it kind of goes back between um, Red Prairie and Strongwind as to who is the lead cow. Strongwind is definitely tries to push her way around for that. Coyote wants to be the lead though. Always got to check something out. Now they're trying to use it as a scratching post. I think they've got enough trees for that. All these cedars you can see out here are just rubbed raw because they're constantly scratching on them. Time to get a few more things done. Looks like a full out construction site around here. The uh, pond hasn't filled up yet. This embankment here is nice and steep, almost too steep for the uh, skid steer to get up, but with a bucket of dirt, it doesn't do too bad. The bottom of this um, hasn't really done anything yet. We've got a fairly high water table around here, um, at least for groundwater, but it hasn't filled up yet. I don't see any signs of moisture or anything. 
But I'm pretty happy with the, the pond so far. As long as this bottom doesn't leak, I think we should be good. So next rainfall, I would imagine we'll probably have a foot or more of water in here by the by the uh, runoff that we have over there. So I think uh, I think we're in good shape this winter. Hopefully, cross our fingers. How much water do you guys think that bison go through per day in the winter? Leave a comment down below. Tell me your answers, and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. It's kind of surprising if you don't raise livestock, but uh, I'd love to hear you guys' answers. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys' uh, subscription and supporting our channel. We are Broken Arrow Bison. My name is Noah Gordon, and we will see you next time. <laughs>